So uh, fast forward, how does the Luda thing transpire? Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Tiffany uh, knew someone down at DTP. Uh, disturbed. She knew. No, I was. I was getting shopped with Jazzy Faye, Outkast, right. label, all of them. Um, Luda was ready. Shotgun them were ready. Right. Um, Court Digger. Shout out to Court Digger. He was working down there. Him and Tiffany. They were really cool. Even though she knew everybody in the office. I don't know how Court took play, but I think Court was actually playing the demo, if I'm not mistaken, inside of the. Uh, what was on the demo? Office body marked. Okay. Up. Yeah. We talk about that. Hazy classic. So look. She's playing. He body, he's, he's playing body marked up. Um, Jeff Dixon walks by. That's Shaka's uh, the other boss. Shaka's brother. Was it Shaka or Jeff? Either one. Jeff. He stops and says, "Who the hell is that? What's this body body marked up? Whatever." Um, yeah, and that was pretty much it, man. It's like the old record label story. Somebody heard the demo. <laughs> Yo, was was, by. was body marked up? Because I remember Carly made it like the street heat of the week on Power. Was that prior to DTP? It was prior, 100%. right? One hundred percent. Yeah, shout out to Carly. Yeah, that was that was an Arizona street record. Yeah, it was that. I remember it was so that, crazy because we had so much like it was that, and then I Rock had that record. What was the I Rock record on his album? Cla- um, fuck, Mister I Rock Dollar is a classic. Nah, fo- he had a uh, swell, swell, swell. I well, am way back. Yeah, no, nah, that shit was hard. No, nah, it's crazy. So. You end up signing with Luda. It's it's a it's it's crazy because at that time, I remember you were on the cover. Was it Dub magazine with Luda? Uh, Dub, yes, sir. That Wasn't was there big. A, was there a uh, special edition Double XL that got passed out? Or am I tripping? Around Super Bowl and AC? I was on Double XL. I was in the Double XL. Was it, it was maybe it was Ozone? In. Ozone too. Ozone. Ozone. Yeah. With Julia Beverly. Exposed. Exposed. Yeah, shout out to Exposed. Fuck. I I had an Exposed cover, man. Cover of Exposed, man. News. I was, you know, the first first rapper from Arizona, pretty much on the cover of News Times. Yeah, that's still big to get on the cover. Sure. It's hard to get on the cover of News Times. Nah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Can we do it again? <laughs> it's time to do it again. Yeah, New Times. I mean, it, I obviously don't know about it now, but back in the day, that shit was that was a big deal in AZ. Yeah, man. That's how I used to find out what concerts were coming. You get that motherfucker New Times and pull it, go to the back and be like, "Oh, what's coming is Marquee." That shit's crazy. So. It's so wild. I'm living in Boise doing radio when you dropped the Connect. And yeah. I think I bought like 10 copies of that album. Mm. And uh, appreciate that, man. Kev is a real Arizona vet, y'all. If y'all don't know, Kev is really, don't forget what you was about to say, but Kev, Kev is a legend. And the fact that he's on a platform that he is now and he's still being in, on the block in Arizona as much as. You wouldn't even know he left. He's tapped in with everything. I'm there there. a lot, too. Yeah, but much respect to you, man, for what you're doing, man. But no, um, it's just crazy because it was such a big deal. I feel like a record like Hood Dreamer was about a year and a half or two early because Bob was cracking on the mixtape scene, but he hadn't had uh, the record with Bruno yet. And I think if that record would have dropped, like, even like, because what was that? That was that was oh nine, right? So I think if that record would have came out like one year later, right. it would have been different. Because Hood Dreamer was crazy. Yeah. And you had B.O.B. on the fucking South Side before he was fucking... Oh, came you know, to Broadway, man. On my grandma's roof. crazy. On, came to grandma's house, Neo man. was on the album. Neo. Um, man, it was, it, was, it was really... I had my favorite producer in the world. I was able to work with him. He's still one of my Who? favorites. Bangladesh. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah. Bangladesh is retarded still. For sure. It's, it's, just, it's crazy. So, like, <laughs> Every I want, time I say that, I'm like, yeah, I've worked with Bangladesh. So I think that like, I want to get your perspective on what went wrong with the Connect, why you think it didn't mm. do as well as we had all hoped it to do, and why we had to wait 15 years, because you were who we had all the chips on. The yeah. Connect came, and like, the fact that as a, I, I always looked at it as a W. The fact that we as an Arizona had a rapper drop something on Def Jam. Right. Was so crazy. And that's always the factor. That's always, bro, they can't downplay what happened. No, it was crazy. Situation. It was it was yeah. insane. I just yeah. I just think that, like, obviously it didn't do what we all wanted it to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that your career didn't do what all, we all wanted it to do. And I'm just curious, you've had all these years to kind of, Sit back, sit back, kind of assess. What, what do you think kind of went wrong with the connect? What went wrong with the connect? Um, there was a few things, there was a lot of things, brother. 
Um, I'm sure it's not just one thing. Let's start with body marked up. Just remember that that question, so I can. I'm gonna go through as many as I can, just fast sure. as I can. Body marked up. We had a sample clearance issue. That was number one. Big big sample clearance. Yeah. Issue. Well, no, Wayne was cool with it. But Wayne, it, Wayne Wayne was willing to do it again. Which, which record was? Uh, he said it on Soldier, mm, the Destiny Child Soldier, which but is look, not right. But look, Beyonce approved it. Matthew Knowles, Dark Child, everyone approved it. There's only one rapper that didn't approve it. Ti. Ti didn't approve it because he was of Luda. Beefing with Luda. Oh. So. We what had, the fuck? So that was a year of bullshit. I had to wait. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Had that stomp shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that was a year I had to wait. And I was seeing T.I. here and there. You know what I'm saying? So he um, wouldn't clear it just because of the... Oh, yeah, he wouldn't clear because of the little beef. And by the time he finally cleared it, I think we're moving on to the next record or we was already on the next record. So look, that happened, right? Everything I did was ahead of my time, G. Yeah. It was, was just moving too fast. I, I'm just too good. I'm just too fucking good. I guess that's what it was. That's what my mom says. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that's I'm saying? Crazy. No, but seriously, we um we do that, then we get number one side chick with Bobby Valentino. You know what I'm saying? This song is a song, a real song about a singer, a girl that I was actually you know, it's a, it was a real record. Right. It wasn't a disrespectful record. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of a love song. Right. If you listen to the words, the video was shot love style. Right. Um, Taj, we actually shot the video in L.A. with Taj, who does Rihanna videos right. and all that stuff, which was cool. But we do number one side chick. At this time, uh, Lil Wayne, if I can fuck every girl in the, in the world, is out. Uh, Pleasure P, Boyfriend, number right. two. All these songs are out. But when I drop number one side chick, BT, get, they ban me. Really? <laughs> because of the... You can Google it now to this day. Yes, I guess I'm just... Um, what was the the football guy? I guess he got killed by a side chick. Oh, McNair. Steve McNair. So he they gets, just put the so documentary get, out of him. Yeah, he got killed by a side chick. And I'm calling the song, you know, number one side chick. And it has nothing to do with no one killing, no violence, no disrespect of a woman or nothing. And they banned it. So that's another record we had to, you know... We we couldn't really get the all the airplay and all the things that we needed to get forward. And I think video, I, should, I think y'all really should have put a bag at body marked up. Fuck. Yeah. But it, or had Wayne re fucking. No, Wayne wanted to reset, redo it. We yeah. even had Slim Thug do it. Slim Thug did it, that and hard. just so you know, I got it right here. If you ever want to hear it. Oh yeah, I gotta hear that. I got a version with Slim Thug body marked up. Um, it was it was the actual remix. It has a whole new beat that I'm releasing in 2025. I haven't talked about it at all, Fire. but it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, like that song is like a I may even put classic, a new verse man. on it. I'm gonna put a new verse on it, As you but should. it's fucking ridiculous. It's produced by Loudbox, who's a platinum producer right now. Well, also, like I think, well, first of all, that OG beat that was crazy. I also don't think it aged. Like no. you listen to that song now, you're like, wait till you hear the new body marked up version, man. 